Happy Tuesday. It's sun shining. The rain is gone. It's a beautiful day in sunny South Florida. And we're here with another round of our virtual open houses. And I'm going to bring on the agents joining us today. Miss Penny Burke. Penny, give a wave, please. There's Penny. Alyssa Regan, give a wave. And Mr. Dan Uzi, give a wave. So we've got Three open houses today. We're going to go to Penny first, who is in, you're in North Palm Beach, Penny. Tell us where you're at. I am actually seconds from the intercoastal. You can see the intercoastal right behind me. And that little pool that you see, that square pool, that's the community we're talking about today. It's 384 Golf View Road in Royal Harbor Townhomes, which is located in North Miami Beach. That's North, where I am. North Miami or North Palm Beach? Whoops. I started drinking too early. Thank you for listening. I'm absolutely not in North Miami. I'm in North Palm Beach. Yep. But, but this is even more gorgeous than North Miami Beach. So look at that intercoastal view. And Penny, just take it away. Show us around the property. I'm going to show you around the property. And just before I do, I want people to realize that you are literally within walking distance uh, to, if you like seafood, cods and capers, you're seconds away from Singer Island. You're very centrally located. So you walk in the front door and this is your living room, dining room area. The entire townhouse has been renovated. So this is one of the views. You have an outdoor patio with some private green space. And this is a, just a different angle. So the light fixture that you see is actually the dining room. So it's, it's one big room, however somebody would like to decorate it. It's a little over 1,650 square feet the entire unit. This is a view if your back is to the sliding glass doors uh, into the kitchen. So I'm gonna give you a better view of the kitchen. There's a nice little bar area there. You can sit all new granite, uh, beautiful new cabinets. Uh, you could see that there's also the backsplash is high. It's to the, the full length of the wall. And That's gorgeous. All, all new stainless steel appliances. This place, has been really from some up to down to bottom to side, soup to nuts, completely renovated. The washer and dryer is on the first floor. You could see it behind my head. Uh, people like to know where the washer dryer is. So that's that. This is the green space right outside of the living room. It's beautiful. You're not looking at anybody else's unit. You're completely private. You could have a bathing suit on and no one's gonna whistle at you unless they're, it's coming from your person in your own home. So this is a view looking into the home. You could see how pretty it is. This unit's on the end. And you kind of have, if you look up, you can see the outdoor patio, which we're gonna talk about. That is the master bedroom right there, which we're gonna go to right now. So this is the master. It's very spacious, brand new carpeting. That's a very large patio out there and it is covered. So you could easily put outdoor furniture on here. This is a better view of it. Get out of your way. You could put a small table, you could put a couple of chairs, but it is private because it's on the second floor. This is one of the other bedrooms. You could see a lot of closet space. There's three bedrooms uh, in this townhouse. Let me just keep going here for a little bit. This is one more picture before we get to some of the other rooms. You can see that there is a lot of green space in between the buildings. So it's kind of pretty, you feel like it's tropical. You don't realize how close you are to the intercoastal until you start walking on the grounds. So this is the pool. The pool area is very private. It's very nice. It's included in your HOA. People always want to know, you know, what is included in the HOA. So it's uh, the building insurance, the roof is covered, the painting of the exterior is covered, all lawn care and the pool. But this is one of the coolest things about this community. You're right on the intercoastal. This is intercoastal access. But if you can see in the pictures, the yachts that are parked very close to you, those are private homes over there. And you can be picked up or dropped off by boat from this community. So it's super cool. This is another picture um, of the grounds and there's tennis courts and a basketball. So, you know, there's a little bit of recreation for whatever you wanna do. Going back into the house, this is the upgraded master bath with modern vanities. Everything has been redone. The shower has been retiled, regrouted. All of this uh, countertop that you see is not original. And this is the second. Um, it's two full baths, 
This bathroom also has been fully upgraded and renovated. The, there is a carport and there's also an attached garage, Rob, but what I, what I want people to see is for this price point, you are in the middle of Mecca. You are 15 minutes from even less, but all of the restaurants, if you include traffic, the mall, the movies, tons of restaurants, the beach, you can walk literally to the beach. If you, you know, depending on what your lifestyle is, this is for somebody who wants to be in the hub of everything, be in a beautiful area near the water. You can see from this shot uh, just how close you are. So I don't know if you have any questions, Rob, but that's pretty well, much the property. I have to say, Penny, gorgeous views there. North Palm Beach, I love North Palm Beach. It's, it's that, I call it the quiet little hidden gem in this area, beautiful area. Um, and like you said, you're close to those restaurants or you got caught in capers. Uh, if you love seafood, you have Cucina Cabana, which is a, a great Italian yep. restaurant. Um, and then you're a hop, jump hop and a skip away from Singer Island beaches. You go down the road, you got, um, you know, Juno beach, which is a little, little, little bit more of a drive, but you're still centrally located there. Um, just incredible. Th this is the views penny that I think you know, people up north when it's the winter time and it's snowing up there. These are when you send the postcard pictures back from an area like this. Is that right? Yes. This is when your friends hate you when you send this picture, 100%. But the cool thing about this community and this unit, you're surrounded by million dollar condos all along, you know, the stretch of A1A, which is, you know, right near Singer Island. And this is an extremely under $300,000 price point for the unit that I just showed you with a very affordable HOA. So it allows you, whether it be a second home or a full-time residence, to really be right in the mix in an affordable price point. Incredible, incredible. Penny, if, if anyone's interested in, in taking a look at this home or just contacting you for any of their real estate needs, how can they get in touch with you? Well, they could, if they know Morse code, they can do that, or they could call me. My number is 561. Three, two, oh, oh, there it is. I'll get out of the way. Whoop, wrong way. That's all right. Here's my number, 561-320-2567. Or Penny at echofineproperties.com. Penny's a very busy woman. Penny, where are you? Come back on. Penny's got a uh, list uh, showing today, so she's going to hightail it out of here. So our agents are still very, very busy. We're doing this virtual open uh, houses to promote uh, the homes and they're also still working. They're out there and about. It's been, they've been very busy, I have to say, which is good news for us and good news for the local economy and the economy in general. So Penny, thank you so much for joining us today. You're very and welcome. Thank you so much for having me and everybody stay safe and come on down to Florida. We got plenty of great places for you. Have a great day. See you, Penny. Bye. So now we're gonna go to Mr. Dan Uzi, the ooze as Jeff calls him. Uh, so. Uh, Dan, where are you at today? Oh, let me unmute you. Hold on. Hey, got unmute your mic. See if you can unmute it. I can't unmute it. Oh, there we go. Better. Uh, where yeah? Where are you at today, Dan? I wonder when I should tell Jeff that my name is pronounced Uzi. <laughs> is it Uzi or Uzi? Uzi. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time, so it's Everyone. not like the the Uzi. It's the Uzi. Everyone in my life has been pronouncing it wrong. I just kind of let it slide. I'm sorry, Dan. All right. So, Dan, Dan, where are you at today? I'm at 12877 South Shore. This is an intracoastal park on the water in Palm Beach Gardens. The location on this house is just absolutely spectacular. That's what makes this area so popular. It's on, uh, it's just off Prosperity Farms Road, about halfway between Donald Ross Road and PGA Boulevard, which is just about as superb as you can get for the waterfront um, homes. It's a you know half mile drive to Carmine's River House, um, Waterway Cafe, Seasons Fifty Two, the Gardens Mall, downtown of the Gardens. It's uh, it's right in the area that everyone wants to be. Let me just give you a little tour of the house. Um, the front yard has this gorgeous Chicago brick paver driveway. It has um, this just really old Mediterranean feel. And inside, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let me switch on over to here. So this is let me try and slide out. This is the interior, it was uh, remodeled in 2015, as Penny said, soup to nuts. It has these large, um, large European oak wood floors, which large, large plank European oak wood floors. It's got um, this beautiful wallpaper throughout. 
let me go through here. Here's another shot of the living room. Wow, that's incredible. And it even yeah. has the skylights in there, it looks like, right? Yeah, the, the, the skylights and a lot of LEDs in the ceiling. Um, coming through the house, you get to this out. It's this gorgeous chef's kitchen, which, as you can see, opens out to the living room. If I move my large head, um, and I have to, I have to like go to my notes here to let you know about the name of this, of some of these appliances. It is, it's a chef's kitchen. It's a Blodgett commercial grade oven. The rest I know: a Sub-Zero fridge, a Mealy dishwasher, and a Thermador six burner stove um, oven combination with this gorgeous oversized island in the middle and the two-tone uh, granite countertops. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I'd leave that kitchen. Man, that's I know, a nice either. Kitchen. It also has a full house uh, gener generator. The furniture is negotiable in this house too, if anyone is interested. Here's another shot of that kitchen. And then here's a shot of the, you can see like the kitchen, dining, living area all leads out to the, um, the outdoors. Here's the dining area into the kitchen. What's that uh, ceiling made out of, Dan? Is that a special type of wood? Ceiling. It's a stained pecky cypress ceiling. And you'll see another view like that in the master. Here's the master. Same kind of trade ceiling with it's large enough to have this sitting area over here. And it also opens out to the outdoors. All those uh, doors are impact doors and there's sliders for all of the other windows. Here's another shot of the kitchen. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. I mean, it really is. It's un incredible. Uh, Andrew Levy's watching. He said he loves this house, Dan. He loves yeah, it. Yeah, me too. I walked in this house. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, here's a shot of the guest bathroom. I'm not sure if I missed the master bathroom. Here's the master bath. It's just absolutely everything has been remodeled in this house. And here's a shot that I have of the backyard. It's not the most perfect shot. Let me see. So let me tell you about the outdoors. It's got a 60 foot dock and a 33,000 pound boat lift. So that can keep a very large vessel out of the water. And you're located right there. That, that'll that take you out to the intercoastal, right? Where it's located? The intercoastal, it's, it runs parallel to the intercoastal. The other side of this street are homes directly on the intercoastal. And you could probably be at either inlet in about 25 minutes. That's awesome. And, and you, how big was the boat uh, boat dock, did you say? Dock is 60 feet. It is 80 feet on the water. Wow. And then the backyard there that you showed us, I know the shot was an amazing shot, but it's a big backyard. It's a lot of space there. It is a large backyard. They have this covered pagoda and um, the Chicago brick pavers out there also extending probably 20 feet out. And, and they and also enough, have an awning to block the west facing sun. And enough room for a pool. If you, want add, if you want to add a pool there, you have definitely enough room for a pool. Yeah, plenty of room for that. Uh, so, Dan, what's the uh, what's the uh, price point on this house? This is one point eight million, just reduced from one point eight five. And um, my phone number is five six one three seven one zero nine zero four. If anyone would like to schedule a showing. And let's go back one more time, Dan, if you don't mind. Can you go back into that kitchen? Uh, yeah, I just want to see that sure. kitchen again. Love the kitchen. Here we go. Just absolutely everything has been redone. The two-tone cabinets, two-tone granite. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's another shot. I mean, look at the island even. The island is so unique that, so unique. The pounded granite countertop, which I've really never seen before. Yeah, you won't find a house with this. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's, it's just different to me. I like it. Yeah, it it's beautiful. Wait till you see it inside. One more time, Dan, how can someone get in touch with you if they're interested in, you know, maybe uh, taking a look at the house uh, or maybe they got some other real estate needs they want? Uh, how can they get in touch with you? Dan Uzi, 561-371-0904. And it's Dan Uzi, not Dan Uzi, folks. No, ooh. No, ooh, it's you. It's no big deal. It's <laughs> my nickname for Uzi's been my nickname since I was born, so. Cool. All right, so thank you, Dan. Exactly. And Next up, we have Miss Alyssa Regan, uh, fellow hey. fellow Northeastern Pennsylvanian here. We're uh, a couple towns over from each other. Um, yes. So, Alyssa, where are you at today? So I'm at 1018 Sienna Oaks Circle West, which is in Palm Beach Gardens. Um, this home is located in the community called Sienna Oaks, which is right off of Burns Road. If you're not familiar with the um, Burns, it's not far from PGA Boulevard. So super close to everything, shopping, dining, the mall, 
you name it, the beach, airport, um, a great central location. So Siena Oaks is made up of about 300 homes. HOA is extremely low in this community at $169 per month. So really you can't beat it. Um, there's a community pool on top of that and tennis courts. So it's a really nice um, established community with mature landscaping throughout, very inviting when you're driving through. So this home is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it's just under 1,800 square feet. Um, you can see the two-car garage there out front, lots of curb appeal, really unique home. Take you inside. So here's the main living area. You, of course, have these huge volume ceilings, lots of natural lighting, um, really open, inviting space. There's a little fireplace behind me. Um, really cute, cute space. Um, there's a dining room here, which you could easily fit a larger table if you need more room for entertaining, but still great inviting space. Um, you have this neutral tile throughout the entire downstairs. The kitchen is right off of the dining room there with white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, plenty of counter space there, some recessed lighting, and it opens up to another family room. So this is another large space, um, which is great right off of the kitchen. And you have this screened in patio here that's um, just about the length of the home right off of these uh, doors there. So upstairs, here's the master. Um, there are two other additional bedrooms with the same flooring. So you have this nice wood floor, plenty of closet space in here, and then ensuite master bath with dual sinks, granite, new vanity, um, a soaking tub, and a seamless shower. So plenty of space there too. I'll show you the outside, which I think is one of the best features of this home. I like to be outdoors. Um, this yard is massive, plenty of room for a pool. It's fenced in so your kids are safe, your dogs are safe, really just a great backyard, which we don't have a lot of huge yards like this in I South was gonna Florida. Say, I was going to say that's a bit, nice big backyard. You could put a pool in there. My kids could play a pickup football game in the backyard. It's, it's big. Right, yeah. So really a great home, asking three ninety five. dollars so priced really competitively. Um, if you're interested, give me a call. I'd be happy to show it to you at any time. Oh, let me move on this side. My number is 561-935-6577 or Alyssa at Echo Pine Properties. And uh, Adam Bendison is watching Alyssa. He says, Alyssa is the best. So oh, uh, hi, Adam. Adam, Adam gave me a shout out. <laughs> Uh, Alyssa, you've been, I mean, you and Dana, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been rather busy for you. Uh, you said you have a, a, a contract. I'm hoping the call comes in soon here. So yes, got, anxiously waiting. <laughs> what, you know, and you've been getting a lot of calls from um, people up north. Is that, is that right? Is, is it, has it been kind of hot for people calling about looking at properties? Yes, lots of people from up north who are just sick of the weather, high taxes, and looking to move to paradise. I mean, you really can't beat <laughs> our area. Everything's so convenient, and um, it's beautiful. So beaches are open, right, Rob? I believe so. I believe they're open. They're Singer Island uh, beaches will be open, I think, tomorrow. I think they just voted today that they're going to open them back up tomorrow. Um, what... Uh, Alyssa, how long have you been in Florida for now? Because we're both from Pennsylvania, uh, same same area. How long have you been in Florida for? So I've been in Florida for five years or so now. So and, I love it. Hi, Graham. And, <laughs> and you and you and your you and your uh, boyfriend are avid avid people on boats, going out fishing. So tell me what it's like down here, especially for people coming from up north that, you know maybe have a boat, maybe they go fishing on the lakes up there because that's how we used to go fishing on the lakes. Tell them about the fishing down here in South Florida, what it's like. Yes, well, you should definitely buy 12877 South Shore. You can put your boat right behind. But what's really nice about our area is we're close to the ocean. You don't have to drive out miles upon miles, even a couple hours to get out to deep water. So that's a huge appeal. We have great fishing. We're close to the Bahamas. You can head over 
um, to West End, you'll, depending on how fast your boat is and the seas, but you can get there in an hour from Stewart area. So it's really a boater's dream, and which is why we have such great fishing down here. And don't let Alyssa fool you. She's reeled in some big sailfish before. I've seen the video. So she she loves to go out on the water with with Michael. They go out there a lot. And and Dan, you you're born and raised here, right? You're a native. No, I was born in New Jersey. Oh, I got that wrong it too. Was, yeah, I was. Um, I moved here when I was five, though. So I'm basically a native. And what do you what do you say to people you know looking from up north that you know maybe are thinking about getting out for different reasons? Maybe it's because of taxes. Maybe it's because of the weather. Maybe they're retired, or maybe it's because of the corona. Why would you say this is the perfect spot in South Florida to move? So I I really like the the amount of energy this area has. You know, it's one of the things that I brag about is that it's not Miami. Um, you know, there's, there's absolutely plenty to do here. It's all, all the living here is based on the outdoors and the outdoor experience, boating, fishing, shopping, you know, the beach, the intercoastal, the restaurants, just the kayaking, paddle boarding, everything in this area is really designed to keep you outdoors and keep you active. It's a very social area. You know, everyone who, who moves down here is no problem making friends in, you know, a month. You know, I tell everyone you'll have, you'll have double dates with people in, you know, within a month of being down here. Everyone is just very friendly. It's, you know, 12 to 18 minutes away from the airport with, you know, cheap jet blue fights um, back and forth from the Northeast. It's, you know, and there's like no traffic, which is fantastic compared to places like Boca, Miami, Stewart, just, which is why I came right back here after college. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Yeah, I agree. This area, this area has a lot to offer. The active lifestyle is definitely a huge piece of this area. People right now, you know, my family's up in Pennsylvania and, you know, they're getting cabin fever up there. It's become nicer up there. I guess the temperature has gotten a little better up there, but still down here, at least you can even go out in your backyard and just enjoy the, the, the sunshine. And, and, you know, the beaches are now open, you know, uh, bicycling, kayaking, canoeing, whatever you want. There's so much to do in this area. So folks, if you're watching this, you know, and you're interested in moving to South Florida, or maybe you live here now and you're just looking to upgrade, or maybe you're looking to sell a home, uh, contact Alyssa Regan or Dan Uzi. Uh, and Alyssa's number is there. Dan, what's your number again? 561-371-0904. Uh, two great agents uh, on Echo Fine Properties. Uh, they'll, they'll give you the A-class treatment. They'll They'll show you around, uh, introduce you to the area. It's a great place to live. It's uh, we live where people vacation, as they always say, and we're blessed. And we'd like uh, more people to uh, live where we where they vacate. Well, how do I, I did that backwards? Where they vacation, we want them to live. So uh, give us a call. Give Alyssa a call. Give Dan a call. Uh, coming up, we have three local businesses today that we're previewing. We have uh, let me get the list here. We have. Potions in Motion, they're back again. They're talking about Father's Day in a box and sushi, sushi in a box. So join us at 1 o'clock for that one. Then at 2, we have attorney Greg Cohen. Uh, Victoria LaRusso will be interviewing Greg. And then at 3 o'clock, uh, I think you guys have heard of this place, Alyssa and Dan. It is called Dune Dog. Have you heard of Dune Dog? Once or twice. Uh, once or twice. <laughs> great spot it's it's one of those it's just an intimate place it's cool it's beachy it's a beachy field it's in jupiter uh hot dogs they got lobster night they got rib night it's all that the hot dogs are incredible dune dog if you never had a dune dog check it out they're going to join us at three o'clock ricky the general manager over there is going to join suzanne and we're going to talk to dune dog but for Alyssa regan dan uzi not uzi penny burke who had a sign off and rob moore We'll see you tomorrow for another round of open houses and join us at one o'clock for our local business highlights. See, see you guys. Time. Bye. Bye-bye.